What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing one of my favorite new colorways and one of my favorite classic silhouettes, the gold top 3 Air Jordan 1s. Thanks so much for tuning in today guys, make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler if you haven't yet, but with all that being said, let's get into it. Last year Jordan Brand did something that not many people expected and that was to create a what the version of the Air Jordan 1. This sneaker incorporated different colorways from some of the most popular Air Jordan 1s in the past and it ended up being dubbed the top 3 Air Jordan 1. I actually have two pairs of this sneaker, I love it that much, but surprisingly resale isn't that crazy. For whatever reason, even though the shoe was relatively limited, it didn't have the same appeal that a classic colorway like the Breads or the Royals would have. This year Jordan Brand decided to release a brand new version of the top 3 Air Jordan 1 and this time around there's a lot of hype. The shoes were originally expected to be a complex con exclusive and because of that resale prices were over a thousand dollars at one point. And as much as I love that colorway of the shoe I just couldn't bring myself to spend a thousand dollars on a patent leather shoe that I know I'm gonna crease up. But thankfully enough for those of us who were not able to make it to complex con, Jordan Brand released the sneaker again through a couple different consortiums and I won a raffle at NDUK for the first time ever. So without further ado, here they are, the Air Jordan 1 Gold Top 3s. Or at least one side of them. Right off the bat, the most noticeable element of this shoe besides the colorway is that Jordan Brand opted to use all patent leather rather than their standard tumbled leather. The entire upper has this crazy shiny look, especially on the gold panels of the shoe it gets this crazy glisten and almost looks like a trophy. As much as I love the look of the patent leather on these sneakers, I'm terrified to wear these because as soon as I put them on my feet they're gonna crease and uh, that's really gonna suck to see. You're gonna get creasing around the toe, you're gonna get creasing around the heel, I mean you're probably gonna get creasing pretty much everywhere on the shoe. I mean that's just the nature of patent leather, if you have any Air Jordan 11s and you've worn them at all all, you know that they get creased up pretty quickly. Unlike the regular leather Air Jordan 1s where the creasing actually makes the shoe really nice and worn in, I'm afraid it's gonna make these look kind of crappy. I don't know, I've never owned a pair of patent leather ones, I don't have the DSMs, I don't have that black and gold pair, I have no idea. But every time I think about putting these on my feet, I just have that really bad image of just creasing them up like crazy. Whatever, there's nothing I can do about it, I think it makes the shoe look great, I really should just stop complaining about it. So starting off with the right shoe on the lateral side, you've got this black toe colorway, you've got the shiny hit of gold on the toe box and that's surrounded by this black leather panel. In the midfoot of the shoe you've got this white patent leather panel accented by this black Nike swoosh. Continuing back along the lateral side you've got black around the ankle collar and then one element that stays true on both sneakers which is the gold accents on the heel. One of my favorite details of this colorway is the black wings logo on this gold panel here. I think that looks so clean. Oh man there's already a scuff. These shoes are gonna be a pain in the ass. Shut up Siri. Here's what I found on the web for is it gonna be at the season to be a pain in the ass. Have a look. Moving around to the medial side of the shoe, you get to my favorite colorway on the sneaker and that's this black and gold look. It's a very similar color scheme to what you have on the breads and the royals and the shadows and that of course is because most of the upper is black and then you've also got these gold accents on the Nike swoosh and on the heel. The one tiny detail I would have probably changed about this sneaker is that you only get this sort of black and gold colorway on the medial side of the right shoe and that's because the only time these colors line up is on this side because when you look at the lateral side of the left shoe you still have the same colorway on the heel and on the midfoot but the toe isn't gold, it's white, so it kind of throws off the whole look for me. Same thing sort of happens on the black toe colorway, of course this isn't white, this is gold, so it's not really exactly the black toe, which to be fair is probably what they were going for with the top three look, but I really like the look of this black and gold, I kind of wish that had been on the lateral side. Moving up the shoe, on the right sneaker you've got your black flat laces. If you want to change up the colorway of the laces as well, they also provide white laces and gold laces, so maybe if you want to do gold laces on one shoe and black laces on another shoe or vice versa. The tongue on the right shoe is black with a gold Nike Air tag. Inside the shoe you've got a black mesh sock liner which is exactly the same as what you find on most Air Jordan 1s and the insole of the shoe is white with Nike Air written in gold and if you're wondering both insoles are exactly the same. As for fit this shoe fits pretty much exactly the same as all the other Air Jordan 1s which for me is true to size. One thing I will say though is because it's patent leather it's definitely stiffer than your usual Air Jordan 1 so that's something to keep in mind. If you're planning to grab a pair of these and don't know what size to get try on another pair of Air Jordan 1s to figure it out. Now moving to the left shoe because of course if you didn't already realize the left shoe is different from the right shoe. On the lateral side, as I mentioned before, you do have this black mid panel with gold heel, but again on the toe, instead of gold, you've got white. And then moving around to the medial side of the shoe, you do have that sort of black toe colorway with the white side panel and black swoosh. Another difference between the left shoe and the right shoe is that you've actually got a white tongue with a white tag that has Nike Air written in gold. Moving down the shoe, you've got your standard Air Jordan 1 midsole in white. And then finally moving to the bottom of the shoe, in true top three form, you've got a gold outsole on the left side and a black outsole on the right side. Overall, I think the Air Jordan 1 top three is 
it's one of the best Air Jordan 1 colorways to release in a really long time. I would even say that it's one of the best new colorways that's released in years. Again, as much as I love the colorway and look at the shoes, I'm very nervous to wear these because of the patent leather, but I should just move past that and just break them in. If you guys are looking to grab a pair of these for yourself, you're probably going to have to pay resale unless Nike decides to do a random restock or sneakers drop. Resale is definitely up there, so if you guys weren't able to grab a pair for retail, just prepare yourself for the price. These guys are so sick. I love them. I love them. Now that we've got the review out of the way, let's throw these guys on feet carefully and see how they look. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you think of the gold top 3 Air Jordan 1s and if you're planning to grab a pair for yourself. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to me, Seth Fowler, if you want to see more content just like this. And follow me in all other forms of social media. The links will be in the description below.